So today we are in conversation with Mr. Rohan Nayak. He is one of the founders of the audio streaming platform Pocket FM. Now this startup has joined the club of elite startups that are emerging out of India with a fresh funding of twenty two point four million dollars recently in December. So Rohan, I want to ask you, how did an audio startup materialize? Did you always want to venture into audio streaming platforms? Thanks, thanks, Ria. Thanks for having me here. Uh, uh, so I've been building consumer content platforms for the last six years or so. Uh, you know, and uh, been bunch of consumer content platforms from short video applications to social media to news applications in the Indian startup ecosystem. And uh, 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 you know, and, and and sort of being a power user of audio content over the years, I have closely uh, you know seen sort of the evolution of the audio content landscape. However, you know, uh, what I felt, you know, a couple, uh, three to four years back was that audio innovation was not really, uh, you know, happening glo- at a global scale. You know, you see video, uh, you know, bunch of video first platforms coming in, uh, providing users with really high quality content and different video formats. Uh, but if you think about audio, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, audiobooks and podcasts have, have been able to still target a niche set of users. Uh, frankly, not just in India, but uh, again, in, uh, you know, globally. Um, and what what I felt was that specifically in the space of entertainment, right? Uh, if you if you think about video entertainment, uh, you see that video entertainment has been growing exponentially over the last few years. And uh, uh, but but there there was no there's no platform which offers high quality entertainment and audio content. And as a fundamental first principle approach, if you think about that, it doesn't make sense, you know, in the sense that, uh, you know, audio, uh, I feel is going to be one of the mainstream content formats for consumption of entertainment and knowledge. But okay. there is, there's no, there's no global, uh, no, there's no large scale global plat- platform, which offers high quality entertainment or knowledge content. So audiobooks and podcasts still, I feel, uh, you know, have scratched a very tiny uh, sort of percentage of the overall audio pie. And I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, I I love building content platforms because I feel it enables new creators, new artists to sort of, uh, you know, reach millions of users. And uh, fundamentally, I think, you know, um, I've always been uh, sort of a big believer of how uh, content platforms have sort of democratize the creation of art. And I see content as an art, right? I mean, at the end of the day. And um, throughout history, it has never been possible to, frankly, uh, for any creator or an artist to reach such large distribution without having gatekeepers, right? True. So I think, um, so that's what has inspired me to sort of, uh, you know, uh, build uh, or contribute to that sort of, uh, uh, you know, contribute to bringing new art forms to life. And as a result, we I saw that there's a huge, huge gap in the audio storytelling space. And that's when me, Nishant and Prithi started Pocket FM. Okay, but you started in 2018 when there were no signs of audio industry picking up. So how did you get that confidence? Did you foresee a bright future for the audio streaming industry? Like luckily for the pandemic, um, a lot of content industry is growing after the pandemic. But in 2018, mm-hmm. there were no such signs. So how did you get that confidence? So I think uh, primarily it was, uh, you know, first principle thinking. I mean, it's, it's not as if uh, or the Pocket FM couldn't have started in 2016 or 2017. It's, mm-hmm. it's more the fact that we saw that, you know, from a, as I said, I mean, from a first principle thinking, it, 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 there was a huge gap in the audio entertainment space. Uh, right. And secondly, of course, I was seeing uh, some signs of, you know, uh, users, uh, you know, funnily um, converting YouTube videos to audio uh, and and listening to it and their local music players, right? In the sense that uh, you know, I'll, I I mean, when I was doing uh, research uh, before starting Pocket FM, I think I saw a lot of YouTube channels which post videos like there'll be like one thumbnail and there'll be like 10, 15 minutes of audio on it. That's not a video content, right? right. So, and then uh, I was pretty curious. I was like, hey, what's happening? And these guys had like, you know, a million subscribers, 10 million views, etc. And then, um, so when I, I called them and they told me that what they have been doing is um, they have been, uh, you know, also giving their subscribers audio versions of this YouTube video. So I think that also started, uh, those are like very early signs, but I think... Um, but that coupled with the basic, I think, uh, you know, my, uh, my, my, my Nishant and Pratik's conviction that this, 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 this makes a lot of sense. And uh, I think from a fundamental approach, uh, entertainment is something that 
you know, of course, is is one of the big, um, you know, sort of spaces in content overall. And right. audio didn't have any uh, platform which which offered high quality entertainment. Right. So your platform is also streaming across radio stations, and it provides the users the um, option of recording content. So in terms of distincting, uh, distinct, distinctive features, what other unique features do you have on your platform that make it stand apart from other major players that are in the industry? So Pocket FM is a, it's a digital content platform, right? Um, and uh, so firstly, secondly, uh, you know, for us, like any content platform, our differentiation is content. So for, for our, uh, for our uh, you know, business uh, is, is the key is high quality content. And what other countries is Pocket FM available in? And is it subscription based? Sure. Uh, so uh, Pocket FM uh, is, we, ha we have majority of our users in India right now. But as I said, I mean, this is a this is a product which will have, which will have global which will have a global appeal because uh, you know fundamentally again there's no global platform which offers uh, a, a entertainment content. So I want to know: is it subscription based or is the oh, yeah. content free for all? So it's it's a freemium model. Uh, yeah. So I think we have uh, uh, we'll have two major sources of revenue. One is advertisements, of course. Second, which I feel is going to be. Uh, the largest uh, sort of contributor to revenue is going to be micro payments. What we'll do is we'll give you uh, one or two episodes for free every day, right? Uh, as a free user, if a user you're not paying, right? Uh, but we'll give you one or two free uh, two free episodes every 24 hours, right? But if you want all available episodes, you can either buy one episode or you can buy all available episodes depending on what you want. So essentially what we are seeing is that let's say if I am, you know, binge listening a show and I, I don't want to wait for 24 hours. So I'll just pay for the next episode through a micropayment. Right. So when, when was that year when you started noticing a good growth in terms of user base and popularity? Was it when the pandemic stuck? So coincidentally, it was when during the pandemic year, but although it, it was, it had nothing to do with the pandemic itself, it just coincided because, you know, uh, for the first one, one and a half years, we just focused on understanding the market. You know, uh, it was all a hypothesis, like, you know, uh, two and a half, three years back, right? So the idea was to figure out what kind of content users would like, what is the right creator community, what's the right product experience, what's the right growth channel. So I think uh, it took us like one, one and a half years to just figure out all these uh, sort of fundamental pieces. And I think 2021 was our sort of key growth year. Uh, we scaled uh, almost 15x this last year. So as an entrepreneur, do you think this is a good time to emerge, especially uh, keeping in time, keeping in mind how a lot of startups are emerging and the government is providing the right ecosystem for them to sustain. Yeah. So do you think the time couldn't have been better? Oh, yes. I mean, I consider myself really lucky. I think it's the best time uh, for, I mean, it's, it's the best time for an entrepreneur to emerge. And specifically, I feel, I think the Indian startup ecosystem has matured uh, so much that right now entrepreneurs should not just think about building products for India. Right. I mean, uh, right. I mean, it should be like when we are building a product, I think we have a um, deep talent pool in India for us to build products for the entire world. And I think uh, and we have, you know, all fundamental aspects of the ecosystem in place, be it the government support, you know, be it the uh, liquidity in the ecosystem uh, and, and being the, be the mentorship also that is available, you know, for uh, for entrepreneurs these days to, you know, uh, you know how to uh, what mistakes to avoid how to how to build how to build businesses sustainably so i think um, yeah i think this is the best time uh, one of the best times for any indian entrepreneur to start a business start a startup one thing i would like to know you said that uh, you are a non music platform so why non music do you plan to introduce music on your platform as well because i mean listeners love to listen to music in their free time so do you think that would be a possibility so uh, ria i think uh, i mean you know, we'll have to think about it more deeply, but I think a focus is from a user point of view, we want to be their sort of entertainment destination, right? That's like the positioning that we would want to put in a user's mind. If in future, after we, you know, cross a, you know, uh, you know, user threshold, if you would want to add music as a secondary category, this is something that we would have to, you know, think more deeply on. But as of now, there are no plans. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that would be it from our side. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing Thank your you, views. Thank you, Ria. Thank you for your Thanks time. Thanks, Ria. Thank, Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your time.